today's job. This fan, that bracket actually broke off. Both sides, it fell and damaged the condenser coil. I was able to uh, repair it. I already put about 175 pounds in there. Uh, pressure, it held, used a bunch of soap bubbles. Everything looks good. So, uh, we already had it pressurized and uh, we're gonna go inside and pull a vacuum. going on everybody so today I am just doing a follow-up check on this repair I made now I didn't get video of it because it was 2 in the morning 3 in the morning and uh, I didn't have the time to make a video but I'll make a quick video just showing y'all the repair and here we go there it is those are all the aluminum fins. I need to go grab my vacuum, pull that up. But uh, there's the repair, guys. The Netsa fan motor bracket, you can see right there, it broke both sides. The Netsa fan motor fell with the bracket and uh, we ended up with this mess. So, this was a pretty lengthy repair that day. Got to call it about 3.40. Uh, we got the rack up and running, uh, fully charged up by probably noon. Um, and today I'm back to do a follow-up leak check, but I'm gonna see what's going on with this motor. Uh, so they're in the pair, so that one's running, this one has to be running. These two are running, and of course that one's not there. And those two are cycled off. And on this side, I know I have one bad motor uh, right here. So it's either, uh, we're gonna have to check fuses and uh, continuity. A lot, of the, a lot of the times these motors just end up getting grounded. For some reason, they short out. So, uh, and I don't have a ladder up here. Let me see if I can get a better position and uh, we'll put some soap bubbles on those repairs just to check it out. As we're up here now, so there's that bad motor on rack B. Everything else is running. Got that bad motor on rack A. Then, of course, this one. So, Difficult doing this shit with one hand. I mean, if it was leaking, we'd already know it was leaking. It's been about a week. It's been about two weeks since I came out here. Uh, receiver level is still at about 33 percent I don't see any leaks man this one that one was just kind of bent in I straightened it out as best I could uh, yeah that was the damage done to this coil right here so that repair is good now we're gonna go check that motor first so Seventy, four seventy, and two and three here. We got 
480. That's 480 on the incoming side right here. It's the incoming side. I just took across the fuses. So we're gonna check across the first fuse. We got 275, so that's a bad fuse. That's a bad fuse. There, that's one. And that's a bad fuse. So uh, I know a lot of you guys are smarter than me, but for those of you that don't know, a good fuse right here like this one should have zero. Zero, don't worry about that 0.39, that's zero. And these right here, since you're reading uh, two separate sides, you're reading 270, so all three fuses are bad. Um, let me see if I can go to ground with just one. motor's grounded right there sorry right there motor's grounded on two motor's grounded on one motor's grounded on three so this motor right here is grounded so that motor we're definitely going to condemn it and get uh, some new fuses for it so now let's go to the one on rec all right guys so this is going to be our fan that's not running that third one right there so as you can see it's pulled in it's being called for let's check our voltage right at the contact zero one two three zero one two three zero now let's check the uh continuity again Check it around and see if we get lucky this time. Okay, so ground. Yep. Yep. Motor's bad. Uh, and just for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and take out these fuses. I'm not gonna show you this, so be right back. All right, guys, we got our fuses safely removed. <clears throat> now we're gonna check the uh, continuity to ground on this motor. So we're gonna go on the load side of the contactor. We're gonna stick one to ground right here. There we go, that one has continuity to ground. That one too. That one too. So these motors always get grounded out, man. That's something just common that I've seen on these, these types of motors. So that was this motor right here. So pretty much you're gonna get the information off of this motor, information off of that motor. I mean, I'm sorry, the one way over there. But uh, we already have, this is the one that fell. The one that fell in there. So, you know what, we could even check this one to see if it's good. Somebody installed it February of this year. The motor's probably still good. We might be able to use this, but 